Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool Western Electric 2500 set and this is Katie's telephone from Washington. And so she's got a note here and she's talking about how the uh, telephone gets a, a dial tone but uh, it won't dial out. So she's having a problem with this telephone dialing out. And we're going to go ahead and troubleshoot that. Um, it could be in the keypad, the touch tone, uh, or it could be that it needs a, a bridge rectifier uh, so that it has proper polarity and can dial out. And so we're just going to troubleshoot this telephone, kind of go through it, and then uh, we'll get some more video of it. But I want to show you the telephone here real quick. We'll go ahead and uh, go through the telephone a little bit. If you notice, it's got a hardwired handset. And on the side here, if you notice, the cord is coming out a little bit. So we want to get that uh, cord stabilized. It's not a big issue that the body of the telephone is supposed to have a modular port here for the handset because we do have our um, clip here and we just need to make sure that our line is stabilized and that it won't be getting pulled out of the telephone here. We do have the body off loose here and we can take the body from the telephone. We'll set that to the side and kind of give you a look at this uh, inside of this telephone here. And that kind of gives you a look at uh, the inside of the telephone. Now we could hold the receiver down and ring the telephone. We'll let that go a couple times. Go ahead and give you some dial tone. We want to go ahead and try to dial out. So if you watch the analyzer here, if it dials out, we'll see our numbers. If not, it will never break dial tone. And we still have dial tone. So, like Katie said, this telephone is not dialing out and we're going to have to troubleshoot the keypad and the network and everything and make sure that uh, the keypad is good, the network's good and go from there. Uh, we may have to add a bridge rectifier so it always has proper polarity and uh, so we'll, we'll get some more video of this as we move forward in the repair of this telephone and we're going to take a short break so we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now and so we've troubleshooted this uh, keypad and the network and everything in the telephone and so basically we are going to install a bridge rectifier and most of the time uh, I make my own bridge rectifiers I always have and uh, once in a while we'll use uh, some factory uh, bridge rectifiers but most of the time I make my own so basically what we are going to do here is uh, we want to check our components here real quick and I want to make sure I get a reading on one side and I do on that one every time you hear that meter in the back that's an indication that we had continuity and we only want continuity on one side okay now what we want to do is we want to actually start making our bridge rectifier so this isn't going to do you very much good uh, unless you know how to design the bridge rectifier and how your components are supposed to line up it's 
So we're just putting our diodes together now in the array that they're supposed to be in. rectifier basically and we want to so start soldering it together so now I can uh, get some solder on it solder our components together and clean our soldering gun soldered up. Now it's a little warm here, but I'm going to take a look at uh, the array of the diodes and I can tell what we need to do here. I want to go ahead and put a couple of our wires on that we're going to need. Okay, so that's part of it, and basically what we're going to do now is um, we want to solder our cap. We want to get that soldered in. So we can do those connections right now. off some of our other connections.
lay everything here so we can solder this up. soldering gun get our last connection on here Okay, so now what we can do is uh, we're going to take a short break and we're going to connect everything up and we're going to come back and do some checks. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now and so we have our bridge rectifier installed and tucked inside behind the bell and uh, all of our circuit is finished off now. Another issue we took care of is we replaced the modular line port. Um, Katie's was looking pretty bad, so we went ahead and replaced it. It's all chipped up and it's getting very brittle. The problem with these are all of them are brittle nowadays, basically, so you have to be pretty careful with them because they have a lot of age on them and the type of plastic that they were made out of is starting to get brittle. But uh, we replaced Katie's and uh, so now she should be okay with that. Uh, we went through the network, made sure everything was proper at the network. We went through and troubleshooted the keypad, and we also stabilized the hard wire handset cord coming out so it will not come off its hook any longer where it's uh, stationed. And so basically what we want to do here is we'll go ahead and plug in a line cord to the telephone. We want to reinstall our body here. We don't want to damage the modular line port as we're putting the body on. we can always tighten the screws up here in a little bit. So what we want to do here is we want to go ahead and ring the telephone. We'll let that go a few times. We'll go ahead and answer it. Give you some dial tone. Now we want to walk through our numbers, so if you watch the analyzer, you'll see the numbers roll by. Want to hang up? Give you some dial tone. I want to do that one more time. end in a two. Now I want to transmit into the handset. So if you watch this red light on the analyzer, every time you see that red light, and I want to turn out, okay, every time you see that red light on the analyzer, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. Hello, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we know this telephone is dialing out we know it has transmit, receive, and that it's ringing in on a ring cycle. What we can do now is 
I have a switch here on my switch box and when I push that in that totally takes the analyzer out of the situation and gives us a line out. So I'll give you some dial tone. We'll go ahead and call a time and temp number. Good evening. Two Ford stores, one great company, Offenberg Ford, a short drive to great value. Today is Wednesday, May 8th. The time is 11.01. Current temperature at 76 degrees. Now the Belleville area weather forecast. Mostly cloudy overnight, 30% chance of a shower and a thunderstorm, lows around 60. Showers and thunderstorms likely Thursday, highs around 80. Okay. We can call one other number. We'll call my number and it'll be busy. Give you some doubt tone. We can call one other number. Give you some dial tone. We don't need nothing from there right now, but Thank you for calling Walmart. Okay. So we know that this telephone has been repaired and we can return it to Katie and she can start enjoying her telephone. It's a really cool red 2500 set touch tone and uh, red's a really cool color and she will no longer have to worry about any dialing issues. Wherever you plug this telephone in now, it will always have the proper polarity and it won't be an issue any longer. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618 235 6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.